much. I, I had I read like read the right thing. Of course I did. Yeah, but that's I should have been with you. Like nice calls. job, <laughs> Susan. Any you like any calls on the decision she made, did you? Um, I had one. Okay. Well, we didn't have one. We can do something. Hey, we're going live here on speaker phone. That's me. I'm here. Very good, thank you. I'd like to call the 23rd meeting of the 2015-2016 Common Council to order. Would the clerk please read the quote for the day? Thank you, Mayor. The secret to change is to focus all of your energy not on fighting the old, but on building on the new. Thank you very much. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Would the clerk please call the roll for the meeting? There are 15 present. And I should note that Mary Lynn Donahue is joining us uh, on speakerphone. Um, at this time, I'd like to uh, just talk a little bit about the fact that we lost two valued members of our community last week, uh, our City Hall extended family. Marge Segal passed away on Saturday, February 27th at the age of 70. Older person Marge Segal served on the City Council from 2004 through 2006. And during her term on the City Council, she served on the Public Protection and Safety Committee, the Public Works Committee, and the Law and Licensing Committee. And then uh, Sean Zempel, age 16, died, died tragically on Tuesday, March 1st. Sean was a sophomore at Sheboygan South High School, where he's a member of the cross country and swim teams, he played viola in the school orchestra. In 2013, Sean also achieved the rank of Eagle, Eagle Scout. Sean is the son of Kurt and Carrie Zempel. Kurt is a sergeant in the Sheboygan Police Department. Please stand and honor these two individuals and observe a moment of silence. Thank you. Next, we'll move on to the approval of minutes. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to approve. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any uh, discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion yeah. passes. Next, we'll move on, uh, resignations. Okay, and then under mayor's appointments, city attorney. Thank you, yes, there's one uh, from the mayor to the members of the Common Council submitting the following appointment for your consideration. Sergeant Ryan Schmidt to be considered for appointment to the board of Marina Park and Forestry Commissioners to fill the unexpired term of Sergeant Scott Reinecke, whose term expires 425 of 16. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to confirm. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the appointment? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Donahue votes aye. Thank you, Mary Lynn. Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to public forum. Uh, 
Uh, yes, this evening we have two people on public forum. First would be Jason Peters. Jason, could you come up, please? Hi. And Jason, can you give me your home address? Sure, it's uh, 1225 Kaufman Avenue. Okay, and you will have five minutes. All right, good evening. I'm Jason Peters. I'm <coughs> a member of the Sheboygan Army Foundation. For the last uh, couple of years, I've been coming to the Common Council to um, share some of my concerns. I know some people might think I'm a critic. I look at myself as a city resident entrepreneur. I've always tried to bring solutions. It's up to you guys to listen. Um, today I come as a pretty disgusted resident. I've heard that there'll be talk about building revamping City Hall for $11 million or building new for $7 million plus. Let me give you an analogy here. If I fell on hard times and I asked my neighbor for $200 for groceries for the month and the next day I pull in my driveway with a half million dollar Lamborghini, what do you think he would think of me? Common Council, you've extended the garbage tax You've implemented a wheel tax, and you're willing to spend $11 million on a Taj Mahal City Hall? It's ridiculous. Uh, my, my solutions, there's been talk about shutting down a fire station. Use that building. How about the library? Use that building. How much money have we spent in the last couple of years fixing the docks at the marina. Use a room there. Alder person Donahue is remotely accessing this meeting. Why don't all of you access it? We don't even need a room. It's getting to be a little uh, ridiculous. As a member of the Armory Foundation, there was a couple aldermen who said to me, you need a fiscal plan. You need a fiscal plan. Our fiscal plan basically broke even every year. This fiscal plan stinks. $11 million when, when, when the roads are terrible? Um, there's a lot of new older persons. It seems like they change every six months. I'm hoping we've got rid of some of the sheep and we've got some more wolves in the den. Some people who think for themselves and more importantly, who think for the residents that they represent. In closing, I would like to say this. A couple years, or I don't know, it all flies by, there was this mantra of Sheboygan, or how do you Sheboygan? I never understood that. Now the new one is Sheboygan, someplace better. I like to say, then what? Compton? Milwaukee? I will say this. We have a great police department, we have a great fire department, and we have a great school district. Other than that, the way some of this has happened with the Common Council and the way it's been voting, I don't understand it. It's too much tax. I will save you all some money. In about two years, your new model should be Sheboygan, otherwise known as should tax again, where one tax is not enough. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Uh, next would be Colin Catchell. Colin? Colin, can I have your home address, please? Uh, 321 Bluff Avenue. Okay, and you will have five minutes. Okay. Uh, I figured I was done speaking at City Hall. I realize now that it is an exercise in futility. I have plenty of experience doing it, and always for the sole purpose of trying to make this city a great place to live and raise a family. The reason I am here is by accident. I pride myself now in not reading the Sheboygan Press, mainly to maintain my mental well-being because of the powerlessness I feel when reading it and knowing that it really can't make a difference. However, I happen to be checking out at the local quick trip, and I see the headline to repair City Hall for $11 million. Let's not forget that the entire Blue Harbor complex, not that far back, sold for $4.5 million. What are the priorities of the city? Obviously, to make a great place to visit, forgetting about the fact that it should be a great place to live. This has been the reason the city infrastructure has been committing a slow suicide since I moved here eight years ago. 
I also can't even count anymore how many talented and creative people and friends have moved on to big and better places. You were brought up and told to think globally and act locally, but nothing could be further from the truth in this city. After three years on the Parks Board, the only two things I was able to accomplish was getting a port john at South Beach after three years of asking for one, and helping open the quarry to the public only to see it privatized for one dollar the year after. Repairing City Hall for $11 million should not be a priority. Plenty of other buildings should be utilized for the administrative needs and closed session meetings that take place here. The library basement was one option, although not ideal. There are, however, two multi-story buildings north of the library on A Street and a three-story office building on the east of the library. Both of these would give plenty of space and a beautiful view of the $900,000 green space for concerts two months a year. The Sheboygan Press Building could also be purchased. The Dean's Food Plant might make a great location with plenty of storage for municipal uses. And what about the Alliant Energy Building? It's in great condition and has a brand new parking lot. All these buildings I mentioned would have more than enough space to move the council chambers into and to conduct city business. Finding real estate is obviously not an issue in the city. I imagine it would be hard to find a handful of people under the age of 45 who care deeply to save this building. Isn't the marina going to cost $2 million to upgrade? Aren't our streets crumbling? Shouldn't we upgrade all the lead service lines in the city so we don't become the next Flint? Why can't the city match the funding for the new skate park and really make it special? Why not buy an actual paving machine and hire four people full time? We could build 18 more beautiful pavilions like King's Park at $600,000 each for $11 million. The time is perfect now to call Spielvogel and get an estimate for a demolition. Removing buildings is one thing Sheboygan does well. Once City Hall is down, the land can then be offered to some entity for a dollar as long as it is for tourist purposes. Everyone remembers the scene in Back to the Future where the old lady is begging Michael J. Fox to save the clock tower. Personally, I'd like to see if anyone would be willing to shake a can for 44 million quarters to save this place. We all know life will go on perfectly fine with a different location for City Hall. Unless that is, we know for certain that lightning is going to strike this very building at some specific time and send Sheboygan forward into the future. But we all know this is false, because after we invest $11 million in this building, Sheboygan's new motto will forever be backwards into the future. Thank you, Colin. Next item is Mayor's Announcements. The first Spirit of Sheboygan Volunteer Award event was held recently at Blue Harbor. Tammany Augustin was named an Outstanding Volunteer and was presented the Perseverance and Volunteerism Award. There were many others that were recognized in many different categories, but I wanted to single out Tammany at the City Council meeting because she volunteers at City Hall for the Mead Library and the Senior Activity Center. I would like to say a big thank you to Tammany for all the volunteer time and effort that she provides to the city of Sheboygan. I'd like to have Wendy Schmitz, the director of the Sheboygan Activity, Senior Activity Center come up and talk a little bit about why she nominated Tammany for this award. And then Tammany, if you'd please come up also. Thank you. Um, Tammany is uh, better known as Sam to everybody at the Senior Activity Center. I nominated Sam for the Perseverance in Volunteerism Award because she shows persistence and patience in dealing with our organization where it's not always smooth sailing. She survived breast cancer, colon cancer, a hysterectomy, two open heart surgeries, and just when she thought that her life was getting back to normal, she had a stroke. Unable to work, she decided to give back by volunteering. At the Senior Activity Center, she's also scanned all the historical files since the 1960s, teaches the staff, that in itself is a challenge, updates our website, and offers individual tutoring to anybody over the age of 55. She assists the IT department here at the city, authoring and teaching computer skills classes, and as you said, volunteers at the Mead Library. 
You can check out her full story on our TV show on the Senior Activity Center website, and I can assure you the award was well deserved. At this time, I'd like to represent this award to Tammany or Sam. The Spirit of Sheboygan County Volunteer Awards, the 2016 Perseverance and Volunteers Award to Tammany Augustine. Congratulations, Tammany. <laughs> One thing I wanted to say about this is I wanted to thank Wendy for dominating me and for the board uh, that uh, oversaw these awards for actually thinking my story was great. And another thing I want to say is for anybody who's considering volunteering, I say go for it. You'll never do anything in your life that will feel more valuable than that. Thank you very much, Tammany. I'd also like to make you aware of the fact that City Planning and the Lakeshore Apartment Association are sponsoring a fair housing training meeting. <clears throat> it will be held at Lakeshore Lanes on Thursday, March 17th. It's free and open to the public. Registration forms are also available on the city website for the Spring Landlord Training Program. That will be held on April 12th. That's a Tuesday at the Land Community Center. A fee of $10 is charged for the training documents for that session. And the Mayor's International Committee is sponsoring a concert with the UW Badger Band that will take place Monday, April 4th at 7 p.m. Tickets are available in advance for $16.50 at Festival Foods, and uh, tickets at the door will be $18, and that will be held at Urban Middle School Auditorium. Then we'll uh, proceed on to the consent agenda. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to uh, accept and adopt all ROs, accept and uh, file all RCs, and put all resolutions and ordinances upon their passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. That will uh, include items 2.3 through, through 2.9. Is there any discussion on any of those items? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Donahue votes aye. Thank you. Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. In re under reports of officers, item 3.1 will be referred to the Public Protection and Safety Committee. Item 3.2 is an RO by the city clerk submitting a communication from the Wisconsin Department of Administration stating that they do not object to the final plat for Miller Field West. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and place on file. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion passes. Item 3.3 will lie over. Items 3.4 through 3.11 will all be referred to the Public Protection and Safety Committee. Next, we'll move on to resolutions. 4.1 is the resolution by Alderman Bellinger authorizing and executing the deed from the City of Sheboygan to Retail LLC. Alderman Bellinger. Thank you, Mayor. I'd move to suspend the rules. Second. Is there any objection to suspension? Seeing none, please proceed. Uh, thank you. I would move to uh, put this, upon, or this resolution upon its passage. And this is for um, 8th and Center Avenue, the building there. Behind that building is a parking lot, and we are selling uh, a portion of that parking lot to the owner of that building. Thank you. Any discussion? Thank you for that support. Any discussion on the motion? Chad, would you like to speak to that? Just for the clarification, it's actually 8th and Penn. Oh, Penn, I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. It's the former Dirksy Law Office. Okay, that was a former Dirksy Law Office. Seeing no discussion, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. 
Item 4.2 is a resolution by Alderman Koth, Heidemann, Wolf, and Donahue authorizing the canceling of the contract with the State of Wisconsin Office of the Commissioner of Insurance for a Local Government Property Insurance Fund, effective June 1st. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on that motion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item 4.3 and 4.4 will lie over. Items 4.5 through 4.10 will be referred to various committees. Then under reports of committees, item 5.1 is an RC by finance to whom is referred resolution number 148 of 1516 by Alderman Hammond providing for the sale of approximately 3 million, 3.4 million in general obligation promissory notes, series 2016A and recommends that the resolution be passed. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and adopt and put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that support. The motion is before us for discussion. Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Fourteen eyes, one no. Motion passes. Item 5.2 was, uh, was, was an RC by Finance Humor's Referred Resolution 149 of 1516 by Alderman Hammond, providing for the sale of approximately $7,550,000 in taxable general obligation promissory note series 2016B and recommends that the resolution be passed. Alderman Hammond. Thank you again, Mr. Mayor. Move to accept and adopt and put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Under discussion. Seeing no discussion, will the clerk please call the roll? Donahue votes aye. Thank you. <clears throat> 14 ayes, one no. Motion passes. Item 5.3 is an RC by law and licensing to whom is referred pursuant number. RO 248 of 15616 by the city clerk, various license applications and recommends that beverage operators license 0149 be denied based on his failure to accurately reveal all relevant convictions on his application, his record of violations related to the license activity, his record as a repeat law offender and his failure to cooperate with the committee. Alderman Lassard. Thank you, Mayor. I move that report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. It's we have a motion and a second under discussion. Is Cody Newhouse here? Yes. Can I come up and have a... Who seconded that? I couldn't tell. Hmm? Who seconded that motion? Cody Hammond. was invited to our committee on two occasions and did not show up on either one of those occasions, and therefore he was turned down for this license. Did you want to make any comments as to why? Um, the first meeting, the one that I was told of, was um, the 26th, and that was the only one I was told of. And I was late by two minutes because I was parking, and um, I didn't know where this place was. I've never been here before. And uh, I guess I was two minutes late running up the stairs. Otherwise, I would have been here. Okay, thank you. Alderman Hammond. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd move to refer this back to committee. Second. We have a motion and a second to refer this back to committee. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion passes. We have another opportunity to go to the next committee meeting then. Okay. Thank, thank you. you very much. Item 5.4 is an RC by law and licensing to whom was referred pursuant 
to RO number 248 of 1516 by the city clerk, variance license application, and recommend that a taxi cab driver's license application 0545 be denied based on his failure to accurately review all relevant convictions on his application, his record of violations related to the licensed activity, and his, repeat, his record as a repeat law offender, and failure to cooperate with the committee. Alderman Lassard. Thank you, Mayor. I move to re report of committee be accepted and adopted. Thank you for that motion and support under discussion. Is a Mr. David Koch Jr. here? Mr. Koch was invited to our meetings on two occasions and didn't show up for either one and based on his record, the committee decided to deny his application. Thank you. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. Item 5.5 is the report of the Building Use Committee and recommendations on City Hall, and that's set to be referred to the Committee of the Whole. Todd Wolf is the chairman. Todd, when uh, do you plan on having that meeting? Thank you, Mayor. Uh, the Committee of the Whole will be meeting at 5.30 on March 14th, and agenda will follow. Very good. Please plan on attending that. It's important issues that we need to discuss. Next item is uh, matters laid over. Um, 6.1 is resolution number 146 of 1516 by Alderman Koth, Donahue, Heideman, and Wolf, authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2015 budget to establish an appropriation for payments in the fire department to retirees. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll. Thank you. Fifteen ayes. Motion passes. Item 6.2 is resolution number 147 of 1516 by Alderman Koth, Donahue, Heideman, and Wolf, authorizing a transfer of appropriation in the 2016 budget to establish appropriation for the purchase of compact articulated loader for the parking utility. Alderman Hammond. Thank you again, Mr. Mayor. I move to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on that item? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Donahue votes aye. Thank you. Fifteen ayes. Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to other matters. City Attorney. Thank you. Uh, 7.1 is an RO by the City Clerk. Submitting various license applications for the period ending December 31st, 2016 <coughs> and June 30th, 2017. That will be referred to the Law and Licensing Committee. 7.2 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting a claim from Linda L. Graves for alleged damages when the police broke her back door. That will be referred to the Finance Committee. 7.3 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting a petition, notice, and list of tax liens of Sheboygan County being foreclosed by proceeding in REM 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, and 2012, number 42. That will also be referred to the Finance Committee. 7.4 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting a claim from Mang Yang for alleged damages to the vehicle, to a vehicle when a snowplow driver hit the vehicle with the wing of the snowplow. That will also be referred to the Finance Committee. Next, we have a contemplated closed session. Alderman Hammond. Thank you again, Mr. Mayor. Move to convene in closed session under the exemption provided in Section 19851E of the Wisconsin Statutes for the purpose of deliberating the possible sale of public property where competitive and bargaining reasons require a closed session related to the development agreement with Oakbrook Corporation and the former Boston store property and development and a development opportunity on Indiana Avenue. And a motion to convene in closed session under the exemption provided in Section 19851C for the purpose of considering employment and compensation of a public employee over which the governmental body will have jurisdiction and exercise responsibility. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Will the clerk call the roll and close session? Donahue votes aye. 
Thank you. Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. We'll take a five minute break and reconvene. <laughs> Some family in town. That would be, that'd be nice to know. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah used to be, uh, All right. They have food there yet? Yeah. And actually, I've been hearing good things about this. Because right, they didn't have food the night we were there, and that, that didn't help my wife any. <laughs> or I'm hoping after the dorm came out. <coughs> right. Good deal. Joan, it's Susie. Listen, I'm in the middle of a council meeting right now, but as soon as I get out, I'll call HVAC and get them over there right away, okay? If not, I'll bet our budget report. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if you want to call Lakeshore HVAC and leave a message on their phone as well, and then I'll call them when I'm done here. I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm I'm still here. 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 I'm She's still on Okay, we'll call the meeting back to order. Next item on the agenda is the uh, mayor's appointment. I'll turn it over to the city attorney to read that. Thank you. This is uh, an appointment from the mayor uh, to the honorable members of the Common Council. I hereby submit the following appointment for your consideration. Daryl Hofflin to be appointed as city administrator, signed by the mayor. Thank you very much. Alderman Hammond. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to confirm Daryl Hofflin as new city administrator. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Clerk, please call the roll on that appointment. <coughs> oh, is there any discussion? <laughs> None. Please go ahead and call the roll. Donahue? Aye. <laughs> no, she doesn't answer. Aye. Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. Daryl, congratulations. Nine point two is discussion and possible action regarding an offer of employment. Alderman Hammond. Thank you again, Mr. Mayor. I move to approve entering an offer of employment substantially similar to the one presented to the council prior. Second. I thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the offer of employment? Alderman Hammond. Um, thank you again, Mr. Mayor. I'd just like to say, as part of this process, um, it was a, it was quite a pleasure to work with Mr. Hoffman in. in working through the, the employment agreement. I think he's gonna be a great addition to the city. I think he'll do well with our department heads um, and I look forward to working with him during my limited time left on the council. But I, I do welcome and, and thank him again for his professionalism um, and, and what he can bring to the city. So again, welcome aboard. Thank you very much. Any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Done. Thanks. Thank you. Guy that's sitting next to me off the computers. <laughs> I, I, I. <laughs> 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 
because we'll uh, <laughs> somebody using her voice. Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to adjourn. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor of adjournment, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. We stand adjourned. Thank you very much. Aye. 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 Aye.